Here we have our awesome King 500 portable generator, 500 watt, 288 watt hour, that uh, is essential for every home. What I have with us is also the King 60 watt solar panel charger and the King 120 watt solar panel charger. And what we're going to do is just set them up real quick, show you how it's all done, and, uh, and so how you can have portable power camping or an emergency or at the ballpark or the beach or, uh, you know, uh, in the garage where you may need some power, you know, um, anywhere where you need power. All right, so we have a nicely packed, high quality, uh, sun powered, um, 60 watt panel. I love that it's compact and easy. We go ahead, unfold it. The key to solar panel is they have to be in direct sunlight to get the most efficiency out of them. So that's always very, very important. This one will have, you'll see nine panels. And then the solar controller is a DC solar controller with a USB outlet on that. Okay, so you'll be able to see this controller nice little pouch here for anything that you may need. I'm going to go ahead and set out the, the controller. It also has hooks um, for you if you're camping or maybe you're hiking. You can set this on the back of your backpack and let it charge as you're hiking. Within the box, you're going to see uh, these adapters. Each adapter has a letter on it. That'll be important to know. Here's our DC. This is called the DC charging cable. You'll see that there's a male end and a female end. A USB for like a phone. You can charge one side to a phone or a device to a USB. Carabiner. Actually, multiple carabiners to hook this on to various straps on the panel. So whatever your needs are. The 12V socket. So you can have this DC on one end. Um, and charging what other device will take a 12V on the other. Some small clamps for a small battery. So whatever you need. And obviously some instructions that will come with this. What we need for the solar panel is the DC to DC. So we're gonna have, we're gonna un undo the DC and on your adapter, there's letters. And we're gonna find the one that says C, the letter C on it. I'm just going to plug it in to one of the ends of the DC adapter. There you go. Simple as that. Okay. I'm going to plug this end with the C, the C adapter into the solar controller. Okay. And you'll see there's a little red light on. That's on right now because it's charging. And then the other portion of the DC, right here where it says DC input. And go ahead and turn it to input and now I have I have this solar panel charging this device which you'll see it says DC charge is now red and if I wanted to see that the counter on it I just go ahead and choose press the DC button and I'm gonna be able to see the the DC charge on it we're in the light right now so maybe a little bit of faint um, as you can see, it's still still charging and working um, in that in that regard. So the DC is now charging. If I unplug it, I can turn this whole unit on, and it says 97 percent. We're in the sun, so the direct sunlight will be a little hard to, to see, but I can see it here where where I'm sitting. So again, super easy. Just plug DC in here. This is now charging. We got great sunlight today. If I unplug this, remember this was the, the C adapter to the DC end. It doesn't matter which one you go in. A simple plug. And you're gonna have all the power you need, okay? This will power you. This will take about six to 10 hours, depending on your sunlight, um, how you're holding it, the angle. To, to fully charge your device. So that easy, that fast.